Hi guys, this is Nasarvi for Intel Streamer Bootcamp and today we're gonna learn how to make beautiful highlights out of your VODs. So the most complicated part about doing stream highlights is to remember what to look for in a four hours plus time of streaming. Unfortunately, we don't have that much time to waste. We can't just watch or stream every single thing that happened and then create an highlight video out of it. I don't think it's realistic at all. So here today, I'm gonna give you tips and tricks on how I do it and how much time you can save if you use my tricks. First of all, I'm fortunate enough to have amazing mods in my Twitch channel. And one of my mods made me a customized bot command that allows me to timestamp something really cool that happened in my stream. If you don't have that custom bot, there's a bunch of other little ways to be able to do this. You could start a timer on your computer, on your phone, and as soon as you see something cool, you, t you write down the timestamp of it. You could also ask your most loyal mods to realize when you start, and whenever there's something cool, they could create the highlights right away while you're streaming. There's a, there's a bunch of little ways to do it, but I prefer mine because that way I never forget it, um, and it's always done. Now, you have your temp stamps and you want to do your highlights. Well, Twitch already has a pre-made little option to create highlights in a really simple way without knowing anything about video making and editing. So let's go check it out together. First of all, make sure you're logged in onto your Twitch profile and go to your dashboard. Over there, you should see an option to click on Video Manager. You can see every single one of your past broadcasts and you just have to select the option to highlight one of them to start doing a little clip. When you have your video open, you can see at the bottom of your screen two little yellow arrows at the timeline of where your broadcast is. You can move and drag these arrows wherever you want on the timeline. This will be the beginning and the end of your highlight. You can also use the set highlight range on the right of your video where it says start time and you can manually enter a time or click on the use current video time to make it be exactly where you are while you're watching this video. When you're ready and satisfied with your highlight, you then click on describe highlight. You enter your title and your description, your game, and obviously if you want a little bit of tags. When everything is good, you then click on create highlight. This will automatically add an highlight to your Twitch profile, but it doesn't stop there. Personally, I like to export these highlights to YouTube. You can also make a compilation of all the highlights that you create on Twitch and put them on YouTube. So let's go check it out how I do it. It's extremely simple, but you can also go as far as really complex. It just depends on how you want to do it. Right when your highlight is created, you can instantly see a export to YouTube button, either on the page that you created your highlight on, or if you go to the main page of all your highlights, there will be a button for each highlights that you created. When exporting to YouTube, there's a couple of things that you need to be reminded of. First of all, your video will be automatically public. I prefer to put them as private when I export them, so that way I can do all of my editing on YouTube. Second, everything that you write in the title, description, and tag will be the only thing that you have on YouTube. All your default uploads options on YouTube are gone, so you need to make sure to re-enter everything that you usually put on your YouTube video in this highlight. For example, you need to make sure you activate monetization of the video or add the normal tags that you usually have or even your description that is probably have all your social links that you have on YouTube. It will not be there when you export this highlight. So make sure to go back on YouTube and add that. Once you entered everything that you wanted for your video, you could just click on export. If your YouTube is linked, to your Twitch, it will automatically be uploaded to your YouTube channel. And after that, like any normal YouTube video, you can have a custom thumbnail and you can add a bunch of other things to make your highlight feel more special. I have some sort of template which make my highlights look a little more professional because of the custom thumbnail, so make sure you don't forget to do these little things that makes YouTube pretty freaking cool. And if you're the kind of person that really wants to do highlight compilations, where you can either download all your highlights from Twitch or download them from YouTube, whatever you prefer, and then make a compilation out of it. There's a lot of free websites online that allow you to poach the YouTube videos or poach the Twitch videos. So just go on Google and search for Twitch download highlights and find the best websites that suits your needs. 
after you downloaded all of your highlights, you can create a compilation video on any editing website, or you can also straight up use the YouTube Create option. YouTube Create has a little feature called Video Editor, where you can drag and drop all the highlights you exported directly from Twitch and just create a big highlight out of it. And then the most important thing of all, don't forget to share your highlights on all of your other social media, whether it's Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, anything that you use will bring your fans and your community to these videos. Sharing is about 50% of all my views, so I strongly suggest it. This is Ms. Harvey for Intel Streamer Bootcamp, and I hope you like my little tutorial on how to make your Twitch highlight videos and export them to YouTube. See you next time.